I think that we're at a point where it's pretty easy to say that AI will be a part of every home within the next like five years. And if you're one of those people that aren't too into AI or, you know, using AI programs on the internet, I want you to look at something like Siri or Hey Google. For a long time, AI has already been around us. It's been kind of minuscule, but it's been around since the 1950s and it hasn't really seen the public eye, save for like 2010 and beyond. But since we started, and it seems like every time we, you know, implement any kind of new AI tech, it just booms and it's just a part of mainstream society. But like I said, AI is a part of, you know, things like your cell phone, but it's also things like medicine, things like workplace, it's even sprawling in the military. But it wasn't until like four or five years ago that we got OpenAI and ChatGPT. If you're unaware, basically what that is, is it's like a text generator prompt so you can ask it anything and it will scour all of its databases, which is pretty much just the internet, and it will feed you back, you know, answers to whatever you ask. This is me in the background asking AI to write me a very thorough paper with citations that I could submit to a college course if I needed to. Now, for all intents and purposes, this is a joke, but let's say hypothetically, you know, somebody like me has submitted countless of things like this to a university and have gotten very good grades on all of these papers. Now, the same company that hosts ChatGPT OpenAI also made this. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. Now, to me, this just feels scarier because it's more feasible, it's real, it's like a physical apparatus. And now OpenAI has made this robot, and obviously it's probably in like a beta mode, like it's very early on, which is why they're getting very simple tasks and inputs from it. But a complete artificial intelligence, you know, physical thing, like I said, that's able to decipher what is around it and also follow directions with its physical, you know, body, you could say, is just mind-blowing to me. Now, like I said, figure one is probably pretty early on, and I think it's very threatening to to, you know modern jobs now I don't mean to sound like one of those doomsday preppers like the whole world's gonna die or something like that because AI is coming whether people want it to or not but I mean the next obvious step after this would be replacing jobs right making jobs more automated this could mean we lose several types of jobs like chefs dishwashers factory workers truck drivers and so many more basically I want you to sit and think could your job be taken by AI and in the next 10 years it probably might be even beyond just these automated jobs that, that AI could take it can take creative too like look at how many jobs artists have lost because of mid journey which mid journey of course you just put a prompt in and it gives you a bunch of variations of art styles and stuff to that prompt to make you an image now mid journey literally works by searching other art on the internet that's already been made by hand by other people and it kind of mashes them together to give you the product that you want now another thing in the creative outlet that scares me is this new project called Sora What you're seeing on screen right now is AI generated videos fully AI generated videos this is I feel like the most threatening to outlets like YouTube, TikTok, etc. Because what could take some creators that work much harder than myself hours and hours to make, uh, you know, like beautiful shots or, you know, well-made, you know, mini documentaries and stuff can be super automated with not only this tool, but I know the AI voices that you've heard at, all over the place. People can literally just sit down now, spend maybe 20 minutes giving the AI prompts at once, and then they will have a full YouTube video or TikTok or whatever to upload. It got to a point where you YouTube even made a feature where you have to say if your video is altering, like if it's using AI to alter real events or not, because so many people were using the AI that makes celebrities sound like they're singing a song or sound like celebrities are just saying something super out of pocket. I think this is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. And I think these people that are trying to make these faceless automation channels that are all over YouTube are going to have a field day with this. And it's open AI. So this massive conglomerate is about to own ChatGPT, which is a very powerful pseudo search engine 
engine at this point. A robot that is literally able to follow directions and talk to you and move around. And now a AI that can fully make its own videos. By the looks of it, just in early access, these videos might be really good and indistinguishable from actual handmade videos by the end of 2024. Please let me know your opinion on AI in the comments. If you like it, if you think it has better applications than worse, if you're scared of it, if you think that this is the beginning of the end, just please let me know. I'm threatened for creative outlets and for a lot of American jobs and jobs around the world. So uh, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time.